we can edit this out saying that we're going to edit it out. And I can, or we can keep it in. in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fuck. Uh, okay. So this is welcome to the uh, the AM Club, man. You know we're coming to you live on this shitty uh, rainy ass Saturday morning. But, beautiful you know, Saturday morning. Yeah, that. beautiful for, for opportunities. You know, so you know we're coming to you live, and we're podcasting no matter the weather. What are y'all doing? Man? Come on. What are y'all doing? All right. So you know we wanted to get into some few a uh, few topics. Today, but we also, of course, wanted to give you all the intro of you know just us in general. So you want to start off? Well, you start off because your name's first. All right, fuck it. Well, I am Austin, and uh, this is Manolo. You know what I'm saying? So the AM Club. So a little bit about ourselves. Shit. From Austin, born and raised, been here all of our lives, um, 24 years, and. Uh, Honestly, I don't know, like, being raised here, we, it comes with a, a, a different aspect of shit, the world, honestly, because Austin is just such a very unique place, and I think it's produced a lot of unique people, including ourselves. Definitely. So, um, and that's part of the reason why we wanted to have this podcast, to be able to communicate and, you know, express, you know, what we're doing and how Austin has shaped us and how we're planning to not only try to change Austin, but the world eventually. You know, eventually the world. You know? Global impact. Yeah. That's the goal. Yeah. So we have a few uh, few topics here that we wanted to kind of to go over. So which one do you want to start off with? Which I got to introduce myself now, too. Oh, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> I, I totally <laughs> forgot that. Fuck. We did, we just did the A right. Club. My hey. fault. My fault. The A Club. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just because the... Yeah. My fault, my fault, my fault. Just because the name's at the end, you know. See, I don't have my, I don't have my, um, <laughs> my hoodie, bro. I thought we were gonna be outside, but I don't have my hoodie. My hoodie has uh, fuck Jose on there. Yeah, too. definitely. Yeah. I agree with that. <laughs> Mine should have it as well, because you know. Hey. Oh, check the back though. Check the back. Check the back. Gotta see the back. Yeah. There's power and get it to the point, man. Yes, sir. Hey. Yeah, we're we're a business. We're a brand. Apparel. Hey, get your apparel. We have hoodies. We have shirts, and we also have hats as well. Trucker hats, stylish trucker hats. In all colors, all sizes. Exactly. You, you see, they're good quality. Goes with anything. Hey, you support us, you show some love. You gotta help the community out, you know? And if you don't support us, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I second that. Yeah, we're joking, but not really. But uh, yeah, it's a comical aspect to yeah, all things. Yeah, exactly. And we might be joking, but uh, probably not. Probably not. But Jose, you know. All right. Then. So my name is Jose, but my middle name is Manuel, so you can call me Manolo. That's just, it's kind of how it works. The AM club sounds better than the AJ club. So right. that's, that's how we roll. Like Austin said, I'm also born and raised. We've known each other for, sorry, born and raised in Austin, Texas. We've known each other for almost 12 years now, I think 11 or 12 years. Yeah. So being in Austin, seeing how the city has changed, seeing how the culture has changed, and also changing with it has been very big. And I think that that translates into, into how we operate on a day-to-day -day basis and also in our businesses because we get to see people who've been here and were native and also people who are coming in and we get to see how people change and adapt or how people stay stuck in their ways. So there's, there's a good aspect in all parts. There, there very much is. Yeah. But yeah, I think that's it for me. I think we're ready to get on these topics, man. Yeah, okay, so which one do you want to hear first? I think we can talk pretty, ah. uh, pretty uh, in depth about all of those. So. I say why we started our businesses yeah okay because we have more than one business. more than one yes and we're not going to disclose the entirety of our business right but we'll give you guys an idea of roughly what we do right so you want to start it off first <laughs> i'm not going to say what i wanted to say <laughs> no fuck no no man so, okay, <laughs> nah, that actually not funny because I have an idea what. Yeah, never mind. Uh, yeah, this is PC. We were being PC. Woo! Yeah. Good time, man. Good yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, and this this was actually an emotional speaking point last weekend. It was right. We met we met a beautiful 
you gotta check them out. It's a beautiful woman and her son. It's called Oatmeal and Company. Right. And they make the world's best oatmeal. Sheesh. They're at the Mueller's Farmer's Market. They're at two other farmer's markets. Forgive me, I don't recall which ones, but you can also order their stuff online. You can catch their stuff in San Marcos, and I'm pretty sure they're trying to get in grocery stores soon. But seeing that she built a business with her son out of sheer need, and that they're doing it so successfully and so happily with a smile, and that she, they're creating a family legacy, that's 100% of the reason that we went into business, is essentially to build our legacy within our families and take care of our families and return the favors that they've done for us, not just for the present, but for multiple generations, which, you know, enough said, right? <laughs> See, now he's giving you the, the corporate answer. Ah, the moral, I'm, the moral the answer. The moral answer. He's giving you the moral answer, the shit that sounds good and pulls on your heartstrings mm -hmm. And makes you like, oh, like, you know, that's just, oh, they're such great guys. No, we are, no, no, look, look, we are great guys. See, now you know who runs the finances and who runs the PR, okay? Let it be known. Now, we are great guys, but I'm going to okay, give. You can't say you're a great guy and be a great guy. You know, you got to be Actually, there's no buts. There's no buts. So we are great Actually. guys, period. They're, yeah. they're, we're great guys, period. And then I'm going to continue the sentence. So. I think, you know, we started the business for all of what Jose said. However, it's also, I think we have um, something that I feel like I've understood from Jose having multiple conversations with him over these fucking 12 years. It's just like, I think it's also like in us to naturally want to do more. Like, yeah. we've never really, we've, we've been in classes together, whether it's fucking, was it AP, uh... Like Whatever, the advanced man. placement yeah, in high school. All that, all that stuff. We were in those classes together. and They were and boring. They were, it was boring. And not only that, it's like if somebody got a better grade than us or something like that, it was, you know, there's the, oh, well, good job. I could just do better. Or you could use it as like a, mm, I don't think that they're better than me. So why can't I do that? I can, I can get a higher grade. I can, you know, put the extra work in to, to do better. I think we've always kind of um, had that chip on our shoulder when it came to stuff like that, which has led us to want to strive for more um, in everything that we do, whether it be, you know, um, going to the gym, trying to improve our bodies, trying to improve our mental health, which can be a struggle oh, sometimes. For sure. And then also, again, when it comes to business, like, you know, we've we've acquired some acc uh, accolades and what we've done. But we know that we can do more. We, we see people um, online and just out and about who are very successful. And we are seeing them and we're saying, hey, like, they're doing great. But I don't think that they're that. It's not like they're super smarter than us. Like, it's not like they just have access to connections that we can just never get access to. We can do all these things. So I think that's part of the reason why. We wanted to start a business because, you know, for the family legacy, but also because we want more. We know that we can do more. We know that we're capable of more. Like, if anybody can carry that weight, you know, like, Jose has a, um, a screensaver on his phone of Atlas. So it's Greek mythology, holding up the world. If anybody can carry that weight, we know that we can. Too. Yeah. So I think that's one of the also focal points of why we wanted to start this business and why we think or why we know that we will succeed in, you know, what we do because we'll put in the time, we'll put in the work to do it. So I think that's the that's the non-corporate uh, moral answer. <laughs> businesses. Yes, businesses. Businesses, businesses plural. plural. Businesses, Not investments. Business I. Investments. <laughs> investments, plural. Stuff like that. So so I, I, think, I think you touched on two great points and I, I'd like to point them out. There's really... I say three actually. There's three aspects. One of them is when it when it came to kind of we'll say the light bulb moment that's like, hey, we gotta start our own ventures and we have to invest in our own things. And that's one that what we do on a day to day for either a salary job or an hourly job, they don't you tend to use all of our skills. So and and this is clear, when you work with somebody who's in a different department, you realize, hey, 
I could also get paid to use the same skill set that they have because I have the same skill set, but I'm only getting paid to use a very small amount of my skill set and I'm not even using it at the top percent. Mm -hmm. So, you know, say it's 100% is all your capacity, you're using 10%, but in reality, you're actually using 1% because you're only using 1% of a 10% skill and that's how you're getting paid. I wanna get paid 100%. I want to use all my skills and capitalize on them and not just use them, but help other people in the process because ultimately that's the goal. Correct. Now, the other two things, they're kind of, it's an idiom. I would say they're contradictory. You need to be petty and humble. <laughs> I completely agree. I understand what you're talking about. Like, and, and petty comes from competitiveness. Yes. I mean, a great example is Michael Jordan, right? Uh -huh. I took that personally. Yes. And honestly... I take a lot of things personally. Yeah, we take a lot I of shit we personally. Probably me more than you, but yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like if we're taking an exam and let's say Joe Schmo over here placed higher than us, and this is back in high school, we would just kind of look at each other and be like, why did, why did Joe Schmo do better than us? No, that's not acceptable. Or... And then we would just outcompete Joe Schmo. No questions asked. Doesn't matter what it takes. That's that little bit of pettiness that gives you a competitive edge. Oh, for sure. Oh, because life is a competition. For sure. You're fighting for resources in a small tank. And even in one of our businesses that we have currently, there has been plenty of opportunities where we've been able to see the competitor's um, product or work that they provide. And I, <laughs> I was going to say it in a, not, a lot nicer way than that, but basically... It, it could be done better. It could be done better or, again, like, these people are successful in what they're doing and our quality and what we're providing is either up to par to that or higher so it's like shit if you notice that it's like you see are you going to be like mm, no that's good for them i mean it is good for them but it's also in my opinion i don't know if we bleep this out but fuck them because <laughs> we can do that i know that we can do that so you know well and, and here's the thing like on a, on a humanitarian scale Congratulations. Yes. I Genuinely, I'm happy for you. Yes. I know that this is good for you. I hope that the finances or the opportunities that you get from this are working towards your advantage from my heart. But at the same time, my heart also says it's game. Correct. You're, once, once we have put our sights on you, it's like a sniper. Okay. It's a very clear, concise, single shot. And it's over. That's just, <laughs> there's, there's really no other way to say it. Yeah. But let's go on a little more positive yeah, note. Let's go to the, yeah, the humility. Yeah, yeah. Let's go to the humility. No, I went there. I, went yeah. there. I, I have a tendency to go a little more dark <laughs> in Austin. But hey, you know, one I, boring I, tribes. I, no, I'm with you. I, I understand. I think you're just, you're just more um, vocal about it when it comes to that certain thing. But I'm thinking it the whole time. And again, like, I think we both carry chips on our shoulders and, you know, that, that has led to us clashing a little bit in the past. Oh, yeah. Because, like, we're two, today, you know? oh, yeah, two very headstrong guys with, trip, with chips on their shoulder that want to prove a point and prove people wrong, you know, in where they'd be in discussion, debate or whatnot. We always are trying to kind of or we used to try to prove each other wrong and stuff like that to just like because we are just we want to win. Like we're, we're, I think we're natural born winners as far as not that we've always won, but we have that innate passion to want to win. So, you know, again, you're more vocal about kind of describing that chip and that pettiness. But I think, you know, to a certain extent, I think every person who's successful has that good combination of pettiness and humbleness because you have to be humble to kind of, you know, climb up the ranks and be respected by those but yes. you also have to be petty to realize like shit like you I have to go up if you're not petty exactly you I, have to, go up. I have to outwork that person I don't care you know they have people to provide for and all that stuff that's cool however so do I so if that means that I have to compete against you and potentially you know take some of the money that's coming your way and bring it my way based off of my business plan might have to do that. Not saying if there was a way to do that to where it would be, you know, equal split, that would be great. But most times it's not. So it's like, hey, it's just how just how shit is, in my opinion. So well, and generally, generally speaking, 
capitalism rewards the effort, the connections, and the quality of products or services that you put forward. Mm -hmm. So if Austin and I are competing for resources and Austin outcompetes me, I can't sit here on the pity potty and reflect on that negatively. I mean, I could, but it would be to no avail because at the end of the day, the facts are simply reflected by the outcome. He outperformed me. Isn't it not fitting that you receive the rewards? Same thing with the game. There is no participation award. Uh, nowadays there is, but it's, I don't want to dive too deep into that. Cause, yeah, because yeah, I could go. Uh. Well, there's 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 a yin and there's a yang. There's a positive and there's a negative. There is always a winner and there is always a loser. There is always light and there's always dark. There's no yes. There's a gray area and there's space in between, but there's very strong poles. So it's, you were it, getting into the philosopher. What fuck? Philosophical nature. But yeah, we're getting into that shit. Uh, our our opinions on that opinion, you know, are a little controversial, but hey. Uh, yeah, so um, So be humble. Be humble. Yeah. So okay. This is the three takeaways, right? Yeah. What was the first one? <laughs> I got petty and humble. One right. was what was the first one? Desire, perhaps. Hey, y'all scroll the fuck back yeah, yeah, yeah. and listen to the first one. Leave it in the comment section. Yeah. I quite frankly don't recall don't the first remember. one. But we do know that you have to be petty yeah. and you also have to be humble. Correct. That's that's essentially why we're in business. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if y'all want to know, so that's two. That's two. What's the, the third? The third one, which was technically number one, you'll have to figure it out because I forgot what it was. At the end of the day, we're living it. So sometimes I can't verbalize it. I can only, well, we can only do it. Yeah. So. Yeah, figure it out. Figure it out. Figure it yeah. out. Yeah. Sometimes, hey, we did the work and we projected that shit and it's in the video somewhere. You're going to have to do the work <laughs> on your end to find it. And please leave it in the comment section because I have no, I really have no clue. I'm drawing a blank. And that's one thing you'll probably get from the both of us is that. Our memory, our memory recall isn't as high as you would expect, but there's a reason. Correct. Because we have volatile memory because we clear that memory continuously so that we can continue thinking about new ideas and taking new information. It's like RAM. It's fast, it's random access, and we process like crazy, baby.